morning, good morning, it's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning, I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed, it's time to wake up, you sleepyhead. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day, and we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best, and you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake, cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your car. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to today's Zero DTE live stream. Looks like Jerome is on the mic or will be shortly. But haven't seen any movement yet here. So, But we do have a little bit of a volatility contraction. S&Ps are up a little bit. So that negates my AM ratio. And it looks like it'll be all about Uncle Rick this morning. Opening bell in three minutes. Also negates my JSPs. Looks like Dick K special could still be in effect here a little bit later this morning. I do have a couple of double calendars I need to take off from yesterday, the one, two, and the one, three. Yeah, my Rick, Filter uses a minimum uh, VIX of 14, correct? So I'm still good for, I'm still good for playing a little Rick. Russell is slightly red, basically unchanged. NASDAQ, just slightly green. S&P, slightly green. Dow, slightly green. Gold slightly red, silver's up 1%, bonds up slightly, notes pretty flat, 10-year yield flat. Oil down almost 1%, natty gas down 1%, grains are pushing higher. Soybeans have been on a little run. Euro and the pound slightly lower, Bitcoin slightly lower. Yeah, Jim, uh, Bumblebee JSP is just sell puts. So when specific criteria sets up, which you can see in my trade plan, basically just selling puts or technically a put vertical spread because we're buying the cheap longs for buying power efficiency. Thirty seconds till the bell. Uh, pretty simple, Bumblebee. You're just selling the right out of the money put, so forty, forty-five delta, and then buying, buying cheap, cheap wings. If you uh, check out the Trade Plans channel, you'll see the uh, Option Omega backtest link, so it kind of details all the criteria that I look at. There's the bell. Expected move for the day, about 19.
I would assume Rick is trading at a decent little price this morning with a low expected move. Rick currently trading about six twelve fifty five. I'm gonna put my order at twelve fifty. Cheapest Rick I've seen in a while, right at the open. Let's go twelve sixty. Want to get this filled? Filled at 1260 on my Rick. Price pushing up. VIX now down 1.28%. Yeah, gap down in VIX of 1.22%. Just going to need to add that. Uh... Aten Ra filter on my VIX chart. There we go. So I got into Rick at 1260. So my profit target's going to be 1640. So hopefully Jay Powell says something stupid. Get this market moving. Preferably to the downside. My time time flies need a downside. I need some volatility expansion to put some new positions on. All right, I got to get out of my uh, one, two, and one, three. Both of those are going to be nice, nice and profitable. Build on my one two, build at seven seventy. And we get filled on my one three. at 1580. 
Just posted those in the calendar channel. Frank D, no uh, no volatility filter for you on the AMIC on Wednesdays? So I got a funny story for you guys. Elliot, are you on here? All right, because this involves you. It's basically all about you. I had a dream about you last night. <laughs> I think I told you guys a few weeks ago. I started to tell you about a, a dream I had about Tim Weiss and, and Dick K. But I don't think Dick was on the stream, so I, I, did, I didn't really tell the story. So I was going to tell it when he was on. Looks like he's not on here either today. But uh, But yeah, so... I had a dream last night. I didn't even remember it until I got to my office. I'm sitting here kind of going through my morning routine. And I was like, oh my God, it just kind of came to me. So basically, I don't know where we were, but we were we were in some kind of beach town, like Florida kind of. Anyway, it was like, it was like we were, we were near a beach. There was like, you know, tents lined up of people selling all different things from like fruit to, you know, renting surfboards, you know, that typical kind of beach town. Anyway, so Elliot was there. He had a tent and I knew he was there. So I was, I was going to meet him at his tent and he was, what he was doing in his tent is he was, he was, he was trying to find clients to manage their money for power hour. <laughs> and so like literally he was surfing. He came in, had his, had his swim trunks on and a tank top, you know, just beach wear. And he was, he was painted hand painting on, on like a canvas. He was hand painting. I remember he was hand painting the navigation trading logo. And he was literally going to be standing out of his tent, holding it up, telling people, that he could he could manage their money for power hour the navigation trading way as if everybody knew what that was and and so i was trying to i was trying to explain to him that but you know like in a dream when you're sometimes you're like trying to say something and you can't really get it out i, I couldn't articulate it but i was trying to explain to him that like when you manage people's other people's money you know, they, they may not understand the, the swings in P&L like you do. And the, you know, right now you're trading tens and twenties of contracts, but you manage money, you're trading hundreds or thousands of contracts and, you know, the emotions of trading other people's money is not, so I was, I was trying to explain all this to, to Elliot and he wasn't having it. Like he was, he was, he was in, he was in on this thing. He was not taking my advice at all. And, uh, and oh, and you, and you kept calling me bloke. Is that a, is that an English thing or is that more like an Australian? You kept saying, "Look, bloke, my account's up over two hundred percent year to date. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing." You just kept saying, "I know what I'm doing." Look, bloke, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and he was so excited about this promotion, how he's going to be getting people off the off the streets of the beach to come give them their give them their money give him their money to to manage for Power Hour. It was pretty funny. And I just, I remember walking away, just thinking like I, there's nothing I could say to like, I, you were so excited. I didn't want to, I didn't want to like downplay your excitement because you were, you were fired up, but I just remember walking away thinking, man, this is not going to work. I don't, like, I don't know. I'm not sure why he thinks this is going to work, but I just have to let him figure it out for himself. Kept saying, look, bloke, look, look, bloke. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so there you go, Elliot. You made it into my dreams. Meanwhile, S&P chopping around.
No decay coming in yet. VIX down one and a half percent. Yeah, I don't, I normally don't, but man, this one was, this one was crystal clear. This is like a lucid dream for some reason. And I didn't, I didn't re even remember it right when I woke up. I literally didn't, I didn't remember it until I got to my office and then it just kind of, I was like, oh my God, that is so weird. <laughs> Spending way too much time with you guys. <laughs> All right, so our time flies. We've got the one with the double double adjustment in the November 17 cycle. We need a move lower to get back into range on that one. By the way, risk graph looks a little goofy, but if price does come down, that will that would kind of prop that up. Um We've got the November 24, which we have also adjusted. Prices hanging just above the uh, the call strike. So I'll give it some time here this morning. But if it, if it stays above 43.80, I'll look to add another adjustment to that one. And then we've got the other one from yesterday that has not been adjusted. It's kind of hanging out, hanging out in the upper end of the range. So would love a down move for all of those. Got our TGIF that I adjusted yesterday. Closed out the put diagonal, added an upper call, so it's just right of center still. Apple's up a little bit. I've got the Dick K Apple trade on. Need a little down move on that one as well. All right, what else, my friends? Don't plan on any other trades this morning. VIX uh, also negated my DKS entry, so I won't be doing one of those. So we'll make this a, a short little live stream. But if there's anybody new here or anybody has any questions, feel free to fire away. Uh, if you check out the sheet for the uh, November plan, Elliot, I've basically, I'm doing 6K of risk on up days and down days and 4K of risk per tranche on normal days. So I reduced it a little bit on normal days, upped it a little bit on um, up and down days. That is the question of the day, isn't it, Marl? Can a brother get a down day? What does a brother got to do to get a down day around here? VIX now down 2%, hovering around 14 and a half. 
after being above 22. Just a few, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight sessions ago. So expected move to start the day was at about 19. Today we opened at 84. So on the upside. O three sixty five on the downside. Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if Mr. SPX just could accommodate our expirations just a little bit. I mean, it's got a little bit of time, but it's, you know, it's kind of taking the sweet time delivering for us. Russell's been given a little bit of red the last couple of days. A little bit. NASDAQ, not so much. S&P, not so much. Dow, a little flatter. Semiconductors have been on a rip higher. Just straight up. Elevator up for SMH. Same with XLK. Healthcare. Consumer discretionary. Regional banks, pretty similar to the Russell. Retail, kind of looks like the Russell as well. We'll pull back the last few days. Two more Fed speakers today. Yeah, Williams at 1240, Barr at 1 p.m., and then Jefferson after the market closes. I don't do many pairs trades these days. I used to do. I used to do a decent amount of pairs trading. Upstart. Down 24%. Must have had earnings. Yep. Robin Hood down 13.5% on earnings. Robin Hood not at an all-time low, but let's see, all-time low is $6.81, currently at $8.46. Definitely crushed through recent lows. Firm down six percent, and it's got earnings after the bell today. So, a lot of junky stocks lower. Tesla's down almost one percent. Delta Airlines up two and a half percent. Adobe up a percent, AMD up 1%, NVIDIA up three quarters of a percent. So 
some of the big boys are red, but not enough to pull down the market yet. I've been I've been building them out and just and kind of getting used to the trader thing. I I just haven't I haven't spent enough time on it. I haven't I haven't traded anything with the bot. You know, for Power Hour, it'll be interesting with with the new kind of segmentation. Have to build a bot for each of those, and then if I'm going to use it, kind of enable it right before Power Hour based on the based on the situation so that'll be a i have not put together all that but i'm going to start testing here soon I, i've got a little bit of time today i'm going to try to try to do some today um uh, that's a good question. I don't, I don't know if you can do it with a paper account. It would make sense that you could. Actually, I don't know the question. I don't know the answer to that. Actually, I'm going to try a. Uh, I'm going to try my one two DTE BNB uh, double calendar using the bot today. Why are you yelling at me, Chris? Stop yelling. <laughs> um I don't I don't know what subscription <clears throat> I did. I think just the uh let's see. I did the uh I started out because I don't have more than eight bots yet. So I started out on the 99 a month. <clears throat> <clears throat> we'll definitely need to upgrade to the 15 bot package for 139 and then up to the 249 here if I get a bunch of bunch of things going. SPX pushing up to uh, a little bit out of the consolidation area. New high of day, 4391. We will be doing power hour tonight. Today's Wednesday the eighth. Yeah, but no power hour tomorrow. So no no live stream at the open or power hour tomorrow. <clears throat> um, and then no power hour Thursday or Friday next week as well. I'll be traveling with my son. We've got a he's got he qualified for a national um cross country meet. So we're driving to Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I've looked at Option Alpha. I'm not. I'm. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the. Yeah, they don't have SPX for one. Um, I, and I haven't. I haven't looked at it in in quite some time. But I did the lifetime subscription to Option Alpha probably 
I don't know, in their early, early days. And so I automatically have had access for, I don't know, 15 years maybe. So I've looked at it, but <clears throat> I have not. Uh, I've, yeah, it's been a while, but I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I just didn't really like some of the stuff about it. I like Trade Steward much better. Yeah, not because of not because of any Fed speakers or anything, Elliot. I'm gonna try to sneak sneak it in actually trading. I just I just won't be able to live stream. All right, my friends, I'm going to jump off here. So we'll see if a quiet lunch or a PM iron condor sets up later today. I won't be doing DKS because of the VIX. Um, otherwise, we will see you all in power hour. Have a great day.